Have you been having issues with your mini doge miner crapping out on you and suddenly going offline without notice? Well, if you have, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you how to update your miner so that doesn't happen again. So if that sounds good to you, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get going. All right, quick little backstory here. So I've had my miners for almost two months now, and I've noticed that about two to three of them would just randomly stop working. Not in terms of the fans would stop, but that, that they'd stop mining for Doge and Litecoin. Uh, and it happened every, you know, once every two weeks, once every three weeks, it'd just be random. I'd wake up one morning and like two of them wouldn't be on, you know, something like that. And, and so what I found was through Reddit that um, it happened to be, it wasn't a product failure, it was actually the software needed to be updated. So I was racking my brain of how do I update my miners if there's not an easy just like update button like you see on a lot of softwares where they notify you, say, hey, click this link here and update your, your app. Um, and so I wanted to do this video for you guys to show you how to quickly do that because I wasn't finding anything on YouTube, um, but I did find some articles and figured why not do a video for you. So I do want to give a quick shout out to Chris here on Reddit. Um, and the post was just give a very clear description of how to update um, your miner. At least it was clear to me based on the information they provided here. Uh, I was racking my brain like, okay, can I do this with a Mac? Does it have to be a PC? Um, I'll put this uh, link here for Reddit in the description below. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's jump on over to the Gold Shell website. So if you're here on the main page or if you're just on Gold Shell's main page here, um, you can click on or go to support, come down to software, okay? And then right here on the Yoda MC and firmware, just come on down to get the latest version. You're then going to hop into GitHub here and you're going to see a massive list of different files, you know, firmware files for different uh, products for Goldshell. Um, you're going to see the Mini Doge 2.1.2 here that was uploaded 12 days ago. But then also you'll see one here for 2.1.1. Well, if you click on it, it's going to say 404 not found. And then if you try and do the option to just click option key and then right click to download, um, watch this. It's going then to show failed, no file. And so that's telling me right away that, okay, I need to download this most recent one here. So let's go ahead and click on that actual link. It's then going to show me just basic information. Come on over to download, just click on download, okay? So go ahead and hop on over to find.goldshell.com. Um, you're going to see a list of the different gold shell products you have. Um, in this case, for me, they're the Mini Doge Miners. Um, I have already updated the first four here, but I want to do this last one for you guys for the video so you can see how to do it. So go ahead and click on settings here. It's then going to pull up the software for the miner so that you can see where to update it. It shows you right away that I have a 2.0.2 .2 firmware version installed. I do need to update that here. So um, let's first come over here and click unlock. You're gonna then gonna put in your password. And once your miner is unlocked, go ahead and come over to system, scroll on down to where it says update, come over to browse, find that file here that you, that you downloaded, and then go ahead and click update. And then you're gonna notice that it's updating the firmware as the miner is running. Do not turn the miner off, do not unplug anything. Keep everything plugged in because it's fairly simple when you follow the rules correctly. So um, it's going to update it and then it, I will show you what the new system looks like to get into your miner.
And there you go. So now it's notifying me that the update is finished. Let's go ahead and click OK. And then let's go ahead and come back to home. And then you're going to notice it uh, online for like information is not popping up. It's going to give me some sort of error message here in a second. And then I, I try to refresh the page and it says the site cannot be reached. So um, it has already changed the IP address for that miner. So come back to your find.goldshell.com page here. Do, do a refresh. And then you're going to see uh, this dot here indicating this is the most recent miner that you have changed and it's come online. It now has a different IP address here for me, a slightly different one. Go ahead and click on settings. Once it pops up, it's going to be in Chinese. Come over here and switch this to English. From here, it's gonna give you all the details that you need on your miner, just like before. Your fan speed, um, it is quite high because I just logged into it from updating that firmware. The average hash rate, you can see also if there is a temperature change here. And then also the firmware version, it'll tell me right there my firmware version. And then you'll see this chart, over time this chart will um, update and you'll see the fluctuation in the hash rate um, there on the chart. And uh, you can come over here to the minor section and input information there if need be. But as well, you can come over to system. And this is where you can change the password and even update the firmware from here again when there becomes another update for you to put in. And let's come on over here and let's select one of my other miners that I updated recently. Uh, I'll show you how the graph is different. So you can see here the graph does fluctuate, um, but this is what it looks like when it's working properly. And, you know, I have not had any problems with it just stopping out of the blue like it has in the past since I updated in my miners. So hopefully that works for you guys. If you have any other issues you're running into, uh, just put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to respond in a timely manner in the best way that I can. And if I don't have the answers, I'll do some research and I'll see if I can find some answers for you to help you out. Um, because I know for me this was a little frustrating on, okay, how do I even update these miners? It's not as intuitive as I thought it would have been. Uh, but once you figure it out, it's super simple, it's super easy, and that's why I wanted to do a video for you. So. If you found value in this video, make sure to like it so the algorithm knows that it is helpful to you, but also subscribe to the channel uh, so that uh, you can stay informed and you can stay up to date on more content that I release down the road. Well guys, that is it for today. Hope you have a fantastic day and over and out.